No, no, no. I'd want to get. I'd, as a gunner, I'd want to be living longer. I'd want to be on Dreamwave. Yeah, you don't want to get camped out though. Yeah, Ganon's but, a really in-your-face character. Yeah. Oh, um, these jabs though. But I wow. think that, um, I think Nash knows how to play the matchup well enough that he can rush down with Ganon. Um, Ganon is no slow character like he is in all these other games. So I think that there's nothing wrong with um, with rushing down on the stage like Greenland if you get the added bonus of being able to live longer. Oh, good so, use of glide just then. So let's have a look and see um, how uh, we actually do, uh, how like, how Gavin deals with the projectiles in this matchup. Um, there are a lot of different styles of links around. Some are very aggressive with their sword, and um, others often prefer to take him. Um, and others are very slight projectile based, um, because one of the benefits of Link in this game is he can be played in so many different ways. Oh. And there being such a good move as well. Like wow. being out of edgeguard. Gets um, punished for using that up being neutral. That's harsh. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. The winner of this place, the winner of Chapel's points. <laughs> oh, that's harsh. I've been, I've been trying to lose this <laughs> Oh, good use of shield by Nash. Oh, it goes for oh, side B. Wow, but um, actually worked out in his favor. If he'd up beat any earlier, it would have been hit by that B. Um, Link's up B, amazing um, angle when it sent that. Like, it's like a semi spike in this game. It's so <laughs> ridiculously good. And, yeah. Like, it's, for characters that can't swing spot the ledge easily, it's pretty hard to deal with. Um, oh, luckily, Gavin can with his side B and his up B, um, and even his float. He can definitely make it to the ledge without, um, and avoid that up B. Oh! His cool seems to be using it quite a bit. Um, so, uh, what did you see? Did he, um, I know on, on heavier characters, down for uh, a B is a thing to, as a kill tool for Link. Um, but I'm not so sure if it works on Gavin, so we'll see if he starts going that at all. Because, yeah, I mean, at this percent, I don't know what moves are really going to kill. You kind of just want to edge guard him, I think, or get it down there. Up air, there you I mean, go. Yeah, up air, like 160, and he probably could have lived with every 150. I think down Jeez. here is going to be the biggest thing he's looking for. It's always been one of Link's best kill moves. And there's the edgehog there, really nice. Nash playing really patient this game, just playing the bait and punish. Yeah. So just, just wait um, for Cool F to mess up. can be hard it. to do uh, against a character that does spam projectiles a lot. Oh, down throws! Oh, no, nah, gets up. Uh, I think Cool needs to watch these up he's just not hitting anyone. That's a walk, gets the up air. Misses the forward, uh, forward smash. Doesn't punch, oh. Oh, gets the dash attack on the cards, the wood grab. Yeah, I knew oh. he was going to be able to do the second there one. There we oh, go. Didn't work out. Need to drop a little bit lower and, um, and get that uh, the sweet spot. Yeah. I actually played Cool F and Pools, and he was saying to me, he doesn't really play PM. <laughs> he hasn't played any Smash for years. Really? He's like so, an old school player? Yeah, yeah, he played probably about eight or nine years ago. Wow. You know what I'm yeah, cool. really good do. It's to see him um, like, flying over and making the trip, that's awesome. I think he's from Perth, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Wait, so he's just been like hiding in Perth all this time? Yeah. Man, awesome. Well, I'd love to see him. Um, oh, like, up he's clearly, you know, That's he's it. He's got some smarts. He's um, doing well, I think. Um, but, you know, maybe like a bit of refinement in his game, and he could be a really good player. Like, you know, compete with the best in Perth, so. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Nice. So, um, good let's see game where one. Kulf is going to take him. Um, so, if, I mean... I don't know if he, if he wants to kind of be doing a lot of the um, projectiles. He does seem to be getting a, quite a few hits from the like boomerang arrow bit, um, like pressure. Um, so we'll see if he does try and go to a larger stage where he can do that. Um, Andy promptly bans, um, bans uh, Final Destination, um, Delfino, and probably Dreamland. <laughs> getting rid of the three biggest maps. Oh wait, he did ban Delfino. Oh, Delfinos? Here we go. New stages, come at me. Alright. Oh, he's nervous. He doesn't know. Yeah. It's a pretty gimmicky stage with some of the platforms. If you don't know how the setups, like the, where the platforms work, there's yeah. going to be stuff happening that you're going to have no idea about. Oh, bomb tricks. Oh, good uh, Good using the wizard's foot just to get out of the corner there. I think he realized the bomb was going to go off, didn't want to be in that kind of situation. Just like, I'm just going to get out of here. It's going to be out a lot of um, Link's arrows and boomerangs. Just, just maybe not trade with the bomb. Oh, really patient approach just then. Just shielded everything, slowly went forward. Yeah, so you can see he's, um, he, oh, oh yeah, that's it. He's hanging his head, doesn't like that at all. It's alright, we all make mistakes. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. 
So I think this stage is working out for him uh, um, as far as his projectile game goes. Like, he's kind of getting a lot more of his projectiles off. Unfortunate um, whiff grab, though. Um, one of the things, obviously, you can't grab someone who's in the air uh, unless they're really, really close to you. So, got to watch out for that. Uh, yeah, Link's hitbox got changed in 3.6. Well, you can something. never grab in the air with a grapple. Yeah, with the um, with the grapple actually, at the, right at the end, they just yeah. removed the end hitbox entirely. Yeah, it was apparently to fix a glitch where it would freeze if it was um, at full extension. Yeah, it so, wasn't a, it wasn't a massive. Yeah, deal. it wasn't a big big thing. Good good to use a float there just to make it back safely. Oh, oh, oh nice tech. Here we go. Andy's just waiting for these upbees. Yeah, he, he's seeing that they're, um, that's happening a lot. Just basically um, patiently waiting, trying to probably bait them. Because the, the mm, crazy thing about upbee as well, if, if you can shield, um, as soon as it, the upbee hits you once with your shield, it's like there's no other hitboxes. Oh, really? Yeah. So as soon as it, it the, it's, it's like one hitbox that lasts a long time. <laughs> um, so as soon as the hitbox hits you, that's it. Like, it doesn't hit again. So, um... Oh. Yeah, so if you shield it, or just like crash cancel it, it becomes like this massive cooldown that you can very oh, easily wow. punish. It's good to know. And here we go, the Ganon chain oh. throws. And so, probably my oh, least Dacus. favorite... It's Chris. Just missed it. Um, it's one of the things that kind of frustrates me most about this game, is uh, the amount of uh, characters that have that ability to grab and chain grab really floaty characters, or like mid-weight characters. Oh, um, nice can make it pretty down. hard, and a lot of characters will kind of drop on the tier list because of that, I feel, because they can get punished so easily um, with chain grabs. Oh, actually gets an up B off, but um, not really at a good percent. Doesn't really... gets a bit of stage control, but uh, unfortunately gives it back. Oh, down throws again. Misses the chain grab. Doesn't get the turnaround grab. Just the reset. Oh, good power control. shield there, and Wizard's Foot to... Um, yeah, Locked you that. see right there. Yeah, that so looked like it should have grabbed, but unfortunately, that um, nerf to Link. <laughs> a little bit unnecessary, in my opinion. But <clears throat> yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, it goes through that B. That's actually, I feel, a hard kill move to get because only the last. Oh, those hit. techs from Nash, like just smashing down and getting the techs, and another great tech as well from Koof. Tech window is actually oh, really wow. large. It's 20 frames, so you have heaps of time. But it's more the um, the fact that he's like got the, he's oh. going at that trajectory downwards and he's getting it right. You know? Yeah. Like it's very 